Hello and welcome back. So uh, my name is Harish and we are uh, continuing to learn how to uh, use Apigee's Visual Studio Code. And uh, we are going to uh, implement a few more policies on our policies. So uh, let me give a recap of what we have done so far. So we uh, in, installed uh, Apigee's Cloud Code, or uh, Google Cloud's uh, code uh, extension. And from that extension, we created our API proxy. Uh, we uh, it, we created that API proxy with an verify API key implementation uh, policy implemented, and then we created a test bundle uh, where we created developer apps, uh, developers, and products, and then we um, also created an APG runtime, and then started that runtime uh, on our do uh, local Docker, and then deployed that environment along with this policy and test bundle. And then we were able to make a call to this uh, API, uh, API on our local. Uh, so it is running uh, on 08998, uh, which is uh, selected by default. And then we, if we make a call, we get this response back. So now in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to add um, another policy on top of this. So um, what we are going to do, we are going to add uh, um, XML to JSON policy uh, on our um, proxy and convert this uh, returning XML to uh, JSON uh, using a policy. So let's start to do that. So to do that, what we have to do, first of all, we have to create a policy. So let's click on this plus button. And now you can see uh, this extension is giving you option which kind of policy you want to create. You want to create a security policy, traffic management, mediation, extension, or dialogue flow uh, policy. Uh, so you have all these options. So what we want uh, is we want to create a mediation policy, which is JSON uh, XML to JSON. And when we click on that, it will give you more options of which kind of policies you want to create inside that mediation whether you want to create an access entity, assert conditions, and GraphQL, uh, the XML to JSON or JSML to XML. So different kind of policies are given as an option. So you can select based on what is your use case. So right now we want an XML to JSON, and then let's name it uh, XML to JSON. Oops, it should be XML to JSON. This is my policy name, and this is now, it is created and it has added another policy implementation um, on on your uh, uh, in, inside your policy folder. This is XML to JSON implemented uh, policy is created. Now, when this XML to JSON is added. By default, it is uh, taking um, output variable and source variable as request. So we want to change this. We want to convert our response, uh, which is coming from our backend or uh, the target endpoint, which we have, uh, which is sending us back an XML. So we need to change it to response. And we also need to change it to um, source also from where it is coming and uh, where we want to send it. So output variable is response and, uh, okay, I have a spelling mistake here. Let's make sure it's correct, response, response, okay, correct. So now we have changed output variable and also we have changed uh, uh, the source. Now we have to attach this uh, policy to our uh, proxy flow. So now let's go to our uh, proxy flow in the default XML. And we need to add um, this policy to our response um, flow. Right now, we have uh, some policies added to the request, but we do not have anything added to the response. And we need to do that. So let's, in the pre-flow, we need to add response. And now we have to add a step similar to above where uh, we are adding few proxies uh, policies in our flow. So let's close it. And then name that uh, policy. So what's our the policy name which we want to add? 
our policy name is XML to JSON. And then let's close this name. So this is how you can add a policy which you have created uh, to your flow. Now we have added this. Now we, what we have to do, we have to deploy this. Uh, now we've made a change to our uh, policy implementation or our proxy implementation. So we need to deploy it. So let's click on this uh, deploy and don't forget to save. If you have not, uh, it's always better to enable auto save. So it will automatically save all your changes. Then let's click on this deploy. And since we did not make any change to our uh, test bundle, I'm going to deploy it without the test bundle. So once the deployment is done, let's go ahead and make a call to this uh, same uh, proxy call which we had. And this time we should get a JSON response. So now we have implemented uh, Apigee's uh, out of the box po policies on our proxy uh, in the response flow. And we are converting the XML, which is sent by our mock target uh, UI and target endpoint to a JSON response in our proxies implementation. So this is how you will be able to create and deploy all this uh, in, in uh, like create policies and uh, implement those on your uh, proxies. So in this video, we'll keep it till this point. And then in the next one, what we are going to do, we are going to deploy our proxy, which we have created on our local to an APG environment, which is running on APG's cloud service. So we'll see how we can do that and what information or what steps we need to perform to easily deploy this uh, uh, locally developed uh, proxy on our um, SaaS version of Apigee's uh, runtime environment rather than on our local uh, emulator, which we are doing uh, so far. So we'll see you. I'll see you in the next video.